Hello friends and welcome to another Happy Mail Monday where I share the amazing mail that has arrived in my post box over the past week. Hello, hello, hello. It is the last week of November and I'm just not ready for it to be December. I know it's not going to be December until Saturday, but still, that's just blowing my mind a bit. A bit. I say a bit. <laughs> More like a lot. Anyway, I have some lovely mail, but I need to explain a little bit about the first one first. In that my amazing friend, Black Wolf, sent me a parcel that arrived on Friday. And, well, I did make a video. I made it like a private video just for her and, and the family. And just because, just because, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. So I'm sorry I didn't um, open up the parcel here. She's my bestie from the Northwestie. She's my sister from another mister. And yeah, sometimes it's just between the two of us. And um, why am I explaining this? Because first off, first off, she sent me, one thing she sent me. Ta-da! One thing she sent me is this amazing luggage bag because she is gorgeous and she probably knows that I wouldn't have thought of something like this. <laughs> and she bought it as a, um, I almost said housewarming gift, but she bought it as a present to uh, say good luck and everything because everything goes right in the zineverse, then I will be heading to Festival of the Photocopier 2019 in Melbourne. <laughs> I am pretty excited and we'll probably talk more about that in other videos here on the YouTube channel. But anyway, the reason, the other reason I had to explain is that she sent along well, what I will say the first piece of mail is. <laughs> Stories from the inside. Now, if you're familiar with this scene, you probably shaking your head a little bit or scratching your head or whatever you do when you're puzzled. <laughs> you're going, oh, this, I mean, that's lovely, Nix, but this came out a while back. The thing is that um, Black Wolf was gracious enough to uh, receive this for me rather than the uh, person who put it together needing to send this all the way to Australia but um, Black Wolf and I are both in similar financial positions so it was a while before she was able to excuse me excuse me excuse me <laughs> it was a while before she was able to send it on to me so here we are now and yes we have some fun stickers that came with it very cute we have a little stay kind distro bookmark type dealio with a little note on the back. The, the note says, you know, I hope this finds you well. Thank you again for being a part of this and enjoy. And that is from Dawn. And Dawn is with the stay kind distro. And yeah, so this is stories from the inside. This is a collection of, um, x-rays and scans and other things that I don't really want to show off too much but I will find my contribution <laughs> yep this is my contribution to the scans and x-rays this is of my brain and a couple years back now we were uh, my GP and I were investigating various symptoms and ruling out autoimmune disorders and whatnot and I had this scan and this scan this slice of the MRI in particular it was important because it shows this little dot which is a brain lesion now brain lesion sounds pretty scary and everything but I did end up seeing a neurologist he cleared me I'm fine brain legion <laughs> brain legions <laughs> legion um 
brain lesions are totally, totally normal as you get older. Obviously, if you have them though, you know, you know. And the symptoms that I was dealing with, you need to get things checked out. But yes, it's, it's not as scary as it sounds in my case. And yeah, so there's all kinds of, there's um, x-rays and, okay, I'll show a little bit, like various things. If you're squeamish, they are just x-rays. There's no blood and guts and everything, but it might be that you find x-ray stuff makes you squeamish as well. So, you know, forewarned, but yes, very excited to have the contributor copy come my way from that. So thank you to Black Wolf for playing Courier in that. And thank you to Dawn for putting that together and sending a um, contributor copy. Next up in this glorious pile of mail, we have stuff from Julie Jump Rope. <laughs> Julie uses such fun things. What is a mammal? <laughs> Oh, and then we have the little, the little cheetahs down here. The cheetah mama grooming the cheetah cub. Very cute. So, let's see what's happening here. I'm um, sure I've mentioned it, but I have Billy to thank for, um, I don't want to say connecting me to, but yeah, just making me aware of Julie's, um, newsletter. Oh, goodness me, which is very, very awesome, as you will soon see, putting all, um, <laughs> my newsletter to shame. Oh, okay. So we have from Julie, some stickers, cute kitchen utensils and toast. <laughs> and we have a note. <laughs> Hi, Nix. Hi, Julie. <laughs> so this is just a quick note from Julie saying hello and all that good stuff. Julie has just had the first really crisp and cold weeks of fall. Ooh, goodness. It's just gearing up to the warmth here. <laughs> I almost missed the cool. <laughs> and here we have the uh, September and October issues of the Homebody Herald. Oh, this is so like, this, ah, <laughs> this newsletter makes me want to make my newsletter like so much more than it is. <laughs> Check that out. How cool is that? The header and the, all the little sections and things. Mug of the month, I love it. And you've got the stuff on the back here. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love Julie style. I really, really do. And then we have October. <laughs> Letter from the editor. The mug of the month. Very nice. Love a brontosaurus. I think that's a brontosaurus. If I remember my childhood correctly. Cool. Very cool. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so, so much. I look forward to, I was going to say love. I love your newsletters and I look forward to them whenever they arrive in my post box, whether they arrive two by two, three by three, or however is most convenient for you to send them. It is lovely. It's so like, I find so much inspiration in how you do things and like, oh, goodness me, goodness me. <laughs> I'd better put them down before I start reading them on camera. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you. I am looking forward to sitting in my comfy recliner and just relaxing with the Homebody Herald. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> All right, I should keep this one short as possible and move on to the next one. Ba -ba -bum. There's a note on the back. Hello from Livermore to Scene. Yes! <laughs> oh, goodness. You may recall that um, Livermortis sent issues one, two, and three of their zines, and they were amazing. I haven't put up the formal reviews yet, but they will be coming. 
And let's see what we have here. Make sure I haven't missed a newt. Ooh, looks like we have some collab here as well. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Ooh, more collabs. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll show you what I'm looking at, and I won't be, you know, greedy with the zines. <laughs> Okay, first up we have Livermortis number four. Oh goodness, check that out. Like, oh. I love that that you know it's the photo, and then just stuck the text right in there. That's great. And as always, I love. The barcode on the back, which says so much with no words, <laughs> only some numbers. That's brilliant. Oh, goodness. I will put a link in the description to War Glitter Zines uh, because she did a, a review of Liver, Liver Mortis Zines. I don't know which numbers she got, but I will put the link in the to that video review in the description so you can check it out and take a bit of a peek inside of all of the awesomeness. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> distraction, distraction. Very, very cool. Very excited to see these. And um, they did mention that they were sending some collabs, so that's really cool. Okay, so we have Strange Way to Love Livermore scene cross L looks like it's still a photography zine, but wow, okay, <laughs> getting distracted. So I'll just do a slow rise here so you can check out the front cover, and then there is the back cover as well. Here, Woo. do you know? When I was a kid, my brother used to have a knife that was just like that. I mean, just like that. Mm hmm. Oh, cool. And the next up we have liver mortising and two ten hound. I might be having saying that wrong. So it's liver mortis and ten hound art present. Anyway, I'm sorry. I feel like such a, a goose when I, I'm not sure about something, but I will show it to you and then you can let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but here we go. Look at that cover. Oh my goodness. I think that's one of the reasons I really love scenes and that there's always, there's beauty to be found in so, so many ways of doing things like you have this and there's a lot going on in this cover and I love it. I think it's great. There's so much to look at, you know, are there any tiny elements that I've missed? Like I could spend time looking at this, but I could also spend time looking at this cover and just taking in what I think it means, what it could mean, what it means to me, that sort of thing, and just taking in the aesthetic of what this is. So yeah, <laughs> to go off on a ramble, I just, yeah, it's just one of those things that, it, that there's so much to take in whether or not you have a lot on a page or not as much on a page. There's still it's as much or as little as you make of it, really. So here we go. Livermore scene and there we go. You can decide if I got that horribly wrong or if I managed to get it right. <laughs> and last but not least, from the amazing generosity of Livermortis, a collaboration between Livermore scene and Lawrence James Bailey. Ooh. Who's afraid of seeing gloomy? Yep, got that one right. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Show the back there. And I'll just hold it here and that way you can pause the video and read the back if you would like to do so. And then, oh, interesting. It's 
photography deep, but almost um, what word am I thinking of? Co collage. That's it. Don't know why that one was hard. But yeah, like you look at it and I was like, ooh, kind of a flower. And then you look closer and you see more. Very, very cool. Thank you, Love and Mortis. I thank you so much for sending all of this goodness. I appreciate it so much. Like you just, oh, like you sent the first three and then, the, oh, like the um the completionist part of my soul is so happy to <laughs> have all the things and i'm very very grateful but i'm also very very grateful just as an enthusiast as zine enthusiast so thank you thank you thank you so much for sending those along oh they look fascinating like i'm going to spend a lot of time just staring at <laughs> all the pages that is for sure thank you and next up we have bum -ba -da -bum, some mail <laughs> no return address um, but we can say it was sent in the UK so we shall see what's the what with this here we go Kiana. there we go Oh, goodness me, I almost completely forgot. Um, <laughs> no, I did completely forget, and that's why I didn't recognize it. This is this comes from Olga. I think their Instagram handle is Olga Writes, but as usual, I'll have it in the uh, link below. And it says, thank you, Jamie, or hi, Jamie, thanks you for supporting my work. It means a lot. I hope you enjoy the scene and find it as empowering as I felt writing it. Now this is um, a whole gazine <laughs> called Body Hair. Now if you don't know, I have a little comic scene that I have just right over there. Jump cut time. And we're back. Sorry about the jump cut, but I wanted to grab this. Now this is Harry and it is my little comic zine about body hair and um, yeah it's basically I'm trying to find there are some things that I wouldn't would rather not show on um, <clears throat> on here <laughs> that sort of thing just it's coming to terms with um, body hair that is not traditionally socially accepted and that sort of thing and how I'm expected to well I'll, you know a lot of people are expected to just you know get rid of their uh, body hair and all of that stuff anyway this isn't about this video isn't about <laughs> my zines but anyway I wrote this because body hair is something that is with um, polycystic ovarian syndrome it's something that is very much part of my life part of my awareness and all that stuff so anyway getting back to Olga zine body hair I saw this I saw Olga had made this and um, basically I had to grab a copy you know I'm as I am getting older I am finding that I am less and less inclined to meet the social expectations when it comes to what I do with my hair. <laughs> so yeah, I, I thought this could be a good exploration, a good examination, all of those good things and I'm always happy to support other zine makers whenever I can. So thank you for sending this quickly, Olga. I'm looking forward to reading it and yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for making it. I'm sorry that I missed out on the um, the badge that came, the button, button pin badge <laughs> that came with it, because that would have been great, but such is life. <laughs> Next up and last up today, we have mail from Billy. <laughs> 
Pilly has really good timing. Uh, this, I think this is like the second or third time where I've been preparing to send something out to Billy and then something like something from him arrives so I can respond to his letter and, and that sort of thing before and tuck that in before I send <laughs> anything out. Oh goodness. All right so we have some interesting things. Interesting little little photo, a little bit of ephemera. And then <laughs> strange little envelope. I mean, I say strange, but strange to me, basically. There we go. And oh my goodness! So, <laughs> so you know how with uh, Julie Jump Ropes um, uh, newsletters that I was thinking, you know. <laughs> inspired me to do much more with my missives uh yeah it looks like billy's east coast adventures have been inspired by julie's newsletter check that out how fun is that <laughs> oh that is so cool oh Maybe I need to do one now too. We can all be in the we we like Julie's um, newsletter style club. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant! Oh goodness, East Coast Adventures ten. Oh, I can't believe he's on ten already. But yay! Always lovely to see something from Billy. And then we have <laughs> Transformers, because why not? See if I can get a bit. There we go. <laughs> and show that off. Because fun. Why not? All that good, good stuff. And then we have, oh goodness, we also have Proof I Exist number 29, the hockey issue. Look at that color. Awesome. I wonder who did the cover. Maybe Billy did the cover. I don't know. I'm not sure. The hockey issue. Very cool. <laughs> I never played ice hockey, but I loved floor hockey when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite things to do in gym class. Awesome, awesome. Yay! <laughs> a bit blurry. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Oh, always, as I said, lovely to see Z-mail from you. Lovely to hear from you and all of that good stuff. Ooh, is there holes on me? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thought there was... Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I was not expecting that. I actually, the funny thing about the timing as well is that I just put up a review of Proof I Exist 28. So this is number 29 and I can continue right along quite happily. <laughs> oh goodness, thank you Billy. It's always nice to hear from you and oh my gosh, it's fun seeing uh, what I'm assuming is the Homebody Herald inspired style to your East Coast adventures and I'm very tempted to do the same myself even though it might be a bit of a, a bandwagon jumping type thing. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So yes, thank you to Billy, thank you to Olga, thank you to Liver Mortis, thank you to Julie, and thank you to Don, and thank you to Black Wolf for playing Courier. Thank you all so much for the lovely zine mail. Oh my goodness, I don't want to do anything else I have to do today. I wanted to just take these zines and sit down and read them. That's, that's... <laughs> That's what I want to do, but alas, we do what we must, and what I must do is thank you a million times thank you, and thank you for watching and are listening and all of that good stuff. It all helps the channel, and it makes me feel good, and um, not that me feeling good should be a major motivation for anyone. <laughs> But just letting you know, it's good to know that people are watching and 
enjoying my rambling enough to come back every now and then and all of that good stuff so uh, yeah I will leave it at that because I'm looking at the timer and if I do leave it at that I will come in just under 30 minutes for recording so maybe I can get it a little bit shorter for the finished product <laughs> Not that anyone complains either way about short or long videos. I'm just being weird old me. So one more time, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have an absolutely wonderful weekend ahead. I'm wishing you all of the best. Have some fun. Make some zines. Make glorious, glorious, glorious Happy Mail. Make its way into your post box. And until next time, mwah. <laughs>